Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld, co-founder of Rack N and one of the authors of the Digital Rebar Project that does physical infrastructure provisioning automation. In this video, we're going to talk about how Digital Rebar does virtual machine create automation and management and even cloud machines. That's right, virtual control from the physical provisioning system. That's right, and let me show you how that works. So basically, I have a system with nothing in it, except it has something in it. Let me clear up this. Uh, in this case, what I want to be able to do, I just deleted my virtual machine. So I'm going to create a new virtual machine. We'll call it uh, Demo2. Uh, I give it two gigs of RAM. We're going to go through the normal create process that we would go through. In this case, I have to go and uh, set it to boot from the network. Make sure it boots from the network first. These are normal things that we have to do when we set up uh, machines including switching to my host only adapter and all that. All right, so now I have a machine. I haven't turned it on. I haven't tried to boot it. Uh, what I really want to do is go in here, bring in the new VirtualBox plugin. So here's my VirtualBox plugin. I want the very latest. So this is tip. We have, this is pre-release functionality. You're getting a preview. And once this is installed, I can enable this uh, plugin simply by going into plugins, adding it. Here is the VirtualBox plugin. I have to tell it my user so it has the right privilege. And if I create it here, what it will do is it's going to go and, and enable me to have VirtualBox control. So over here, I'm going to be able to power things on, power things off, and now create and delete them. So here, I have to reinitialize this moment. Initialize it. So once that plugin is initialized, it actually identified, it did an inventory, it identified that my machine was there and it brought it into inventory. So super powerful. So if I go in here now and delete this machine, let me uh, scoot out of the way a little bit so you can see it. If I delete here, that machine was deleted from VirtualBox. I now have full control. Same thing is true if I go in and create a machine, machines, add, cluster one, and I could do all this uh, from the API also. The way I hook it to VirtualBox is I have to give it a parameter uh, in which I am telling it which machine plugin to use, VirtualBox IPMI. So I could have multiple plugins and connect machines to different ones. You'll notice uh, that screen flicker is actually uh, getting, booting, and starting the machine. Uh, there's a small bug that we're working on where it didn't connect the network on Linux, it does on Mac. Uh, different defaults, and now it's literally booting this machine. So I created a machine in Digital Rebar, and it started it through the process of actually booting it, uh, discovering it, doing all that work. I could put it through a full workflow in this process and use the CLIs and APIs to create, destroy machines, in this case virtual machines, right out of the system. So literally I am uh, getting VM control, with workflows, digital rebar style workflows, straight out of my digital rebar system with no overhead. And if I wanted, I could go into this machine and we have parameters uh, that do things. So you can see it's actually picked up the ID and the name and things like that. I could actually add uh, virtual box, CPUs, disk size, memory size, VRAM size. So I can actually control critical parameters of the system um, while during that boot process. So I create a machine with those parameters and I will get that information back. So that gives me the ability to basically build teardown clusters against different targets, even if they're not physical. So things like VirtualBox, KVM, uh, Overt, or Packet. Wow, Packet's actually a sort of cloud provider. Could we do the same thing with Packet? That would be really fun. Um, we have really good support for Packet. We use them all the time. And so if I install our Packet IPMI driver, I actually need to do the TIP driver, not the uh, current. So let me upgrade that one. So if I take the Packet driver, I go over into my plugins. I'm going to need uh, an API key for this. So I create a new Packet driver. And I'm going to need my key. And then we have a whole bunch of machines in the digital rebar CNCF cluster. So I'm going to add those two parameters. And here, for demo, spelled correctly, 
So now when we create this in the packet cluster, what we're going to see is it's going to go in and talk to uh, packet. I'm getting a refresh alert. And it's actually pulled all of the machines that I have in packet into digital rebar for control. Now, this won't work quite right because uh, there's a local DRP and those machines can't boot against that DRP. Um, so you, you can't <laughs> you can't cross the inter cross internet boundaries uh, with, with firewalls. But um, the idea here is that we can actually create all these machines and if I wanted to start removing items, I, I literally now have my packet controls in here. Uh, I have my UIDs, uh, all the information that I need to actually run the systems, right? Reboot control, different management, and I can do the exact same thing. I could add a new machine into packet uh, by specifying that parameter down here, that machine plugin parameter, and I would have to just say packet uh, IPMI and a name. And it's going to go through and talk to packet and actually build that infrastructure up um, uh, with the machine. And when I'm done, it'll delete that machine. So I can come in, see my packet uh, information. Let me bring that through. Uh, it hasn't built it yet. It's still going through the process. So keep the video short. You can trust me on it. Play with it yourself, frankly. Um, and now the system's going through that whole process. Uh, when it's up, it'll be up and check in and do all the work that it's supposed to do. So um, a little fun. Physical infrastructure automation that's actually managing and running virtual machines. Who would have thunk? Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great April 1st. Except this isn't a joke. It's real functionality.